Hello fellow haters of blue and welcome to my channel and well uh, today is a bit different from what I'm doing lately but some of you may not know this but this channel started as a sculpting channel those were my first videos and I thought it would be cool to add a bit of an extra to the Emperor's Children video which you can watch here when I freehanded stitches all over the Space Marine armor and I thought it would be cool to show you how you can actually sculpt them so if you are not very confident with your freehand you may find this method easier maybe we will see but first of all let me get a couple of things out of the way and let me talk about what tools I will be using and as I know the questions are coming I use um, several different sculpting tools uh, please don't ask where these came from. These are very old. I bought them from a ton of different places. I have more inside a box somewhere. These are all from... Well, there are uh, a couple of Citadel sculpting tools. And there are a lot of tools from wax sculpting tools uh, kits. Just look for wax sculpting tools and you will find a ton of different things. I also like to use a scalpel. This has a removable blade. I like this very much. These blades are really cheap and this is fantastic. I like this really fine tipped uh, straight uh, blades. And I also use this silicone um, color shapers is the name. I'm currently using uh, some, these ones from Gears of Wall. But they are really not good, they're really bad quality. <laughs> and I already have an order place for nicer ones from Jackson Arts. And you will find a link to those in the description if you want to buy them too. I like the this black and the grey rubber tips. Uh, this is firm and the grey ones is mid uh, firmness. And the size 2 is my favorite size. And that's it basically. Um, so with all that out of the way. Let's get cracking. As you can see, we have here our shoulder pad where I'm going to sculpt the stitch details. And I have my, my green stuff mixed here and I like to place it on my thumb so I can have easy access for it. I'm going to take a bit of it. I'm just going to place it where I want the stitch to be. Whoop. So I'm going to have a stitch here to here. When working with with green stuff, always have your sculpting tools wet. I'm just going to place it here. Make sure it's straight. And alternatively, you could use this kind of silicone rubber tools which are very useful as they won't stick to the to the green stuff so they are they are pretty useful so I'm going to make sure it's flat and now I'm going to bend this into the surrounding areas so you could do this in several ways you can use your silicon tool to just push the green stuff into the plastic like this or with your metal tool with plenty water on it you can do the same If your armor has trim, you need to make sure the the green stuff gets 
lower than the trim so it gets the effect that the, it's getting under it. And once I have it what I wanted, I will flatten it out with my silicone tool. Just like that, you can see there is no visible edge between the green stuff and the plastic and the green stuff is really smooth. And now I'm going to take my sculpting tool. This is a very old Citadel sculpting tool. What you want basically is a sculpting tool that has a thin blade edge. I'm going to make a line just in the middle of this putty. I start always against the 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 trim or any border and press against it and then make sure you are making the straightest line possible and with that line well defined i'm going to start placing where my stitches will be for this i'm going to take this tool you can use whatever tool but i like it to be a bit round and now we're going to start placing the stitches. I'm just doing small lines perpendicular to our main cut. Now I'm going to take my same cutting tool and I will just redefine that line. Because where we made the stitches we might have some displaced putty we don't want. Now we need to leave this to dry. Sadly, with green stuff, you need to work in layers. You cannot do everything at the same time. If I try to sculpt the thread of the stitches now, I will probably just ruin everything I have already done. So, I'll see you in a bit. By the magic of editing, it's been one day for me, but a couple of seconds for you. And this is now fully dry. I'm going to sculpt now all the proper stitching. For this, I have a bit of fresh putty there. And I'm going to take a small portion like this and I'm going to put it there into each of the gaps. I'm using a very sharp small tool. You can use the exacto blade too, it's not really that important. You see I place a bit and use the tool to go into the the groove that we made earlier. Just like that. Just like that.
So we are done, our stitching pattern is finished and I think this is a pretty good fun thing to sculpt, especially if you are new to sculpting, I think it's a very good exercise because it will teach you how to be smooth and how to blend well your, your green stuff into your underneath layer. So as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you like my videos and want to help me make them? Well, there are several ways you can do that. You can follow me on social media, you have the links to all my social media in the description below. You can also check all my affiliate links in the pinned comment of this video. Use those links in your next hobby purchase and help me without any additional cost to you. But most importantly, there is Patreon. You have the link to my Patreon in the description below and in the pinned comment of the video. Patreon helps me do all the cool projects that I want to make and helps me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall. But it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching. A special thank you to Ben Morin, Charles Armitage, Christoph Moret, Daniel Figueiredo dos Santos, Joshua Bohannon, Michael Boyer, Victor Domen, Brent Sillinger, Kieran Omurfile, Dominic Trevizo, Dr. V, Eldrick Edge, GeForce, JT Butler, Jonathan Ekelun, Kevin Sulas, Kildenad, Lenard Lindemann, Manuel Gonzalez Rodriguez, Manuel Villela Partida, Michael Young, Richard Kiatkowski, Shasha Park, Shi Ni, and Josh Simpson for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks, join my Patreon and take control.